Hello folks, today's presentation will be on a new Velter PDP, the five inch, so longest barreled version with a compact grip frame. So technically a compact, but you know, five inches. Uh, but uh, anyway. Hey, what are you guys having problems? Really, I just wanna have my beer and go home. I love the small cordite in the morning. You know I've laid, loved my PPQs and uh, done a lot with that. I have held off on getting a PDP to mostly just because I don't like the white plastic sights that come on it. But uh, while there has a deal where you get a free Amerigo night sight or red dot sight up till April 17th, this might later air after that. But uh, with a free red dot that, you know, a decently priced red dot, that's a pretty dang good deal. And looking at the manual, while there has a lifetime warranty on their products, they're so sure of their products gun companies that they don't care about your registration within 10 days and all that BS and only for the original owner, they believe their products are going to be good all the time. So it's on the products for lifetime. So uh, that's one reason to support Velter and pretend to be James Bond is always another one. Um, so let's see how this does. The part one part of this, at least, uh, that's probably how it will go, will be just with the, I can't even say, uh, metal sites, but uh, or steel, but with the plastic sights, and we'll see how we do, and then I'll get the red dot when it comes to the mail mounted, and then we'll really see how this baby does. But it'll get me familiar with it, and uh, see what I think. We're in an enclosed living shoe. It is enclosed and safe in this direction, empty. Take up to the wall. You'll see an unboxing video probably, and a nice crisp break, nice short reset. Uh, so, you know, the accuracy that Walter is known for, I am hoping for. And we got good grip texture on the front. It feels awesome in the hand. Great ergos. Uh, three different back straps. Comes with one on it and two others. So, uh, anyway, guys, let's see how the Velter does. All right, guys, just going to get a little familiar with it and uh, do some slow fire. I got three targets set up. I'm going to go for the middle one. It's really, really small in the center first. And uh, I got my duty gear on because I'm going to work later and uh, all that. So I just got it in a Remora holster right now. I usually wouldn't recommend that with a light striker fired. Be careful today. If you any holster companies, I haven't heard back from anybody. I need a holster for this five inch barrel PDP uh, outside waistband or even a duty level two or level three retention holster with maybe a weapon mounted light PL2 or I could buy a, a uh, HL1 or something like that. Let me know. Let me know. Someone help, help me up. Okay. Little target. Or do you want to put a little bit of grip tape on the take that in front of the takedown lever? With just a tiny bit left. Little bit left, but I got a nice little grouping going. So this is like a two inch, it looks like. Two and a half inch, two inch uh, inners there. I'm pulling just a little bit left. This is probably just my first shots of the day. 10 shots with some Raug 124. Go for the white one on the left. Go for uh, 70 yards. See if I'm still pulling left, if I want to mess with the sight or not, or just wait because I'm getting a red dot on it. Anyway, let's see. Those are all just a tiny bit left into the heart. It's bugging me. It's about an inch off. 
If I counted right, I think that was five shots. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's five right there. I mean, that's a very tight uh, little group with Federal 124. But really, it is like just a little bit off and it's really bugging me. <laughs> All right, I've actually adjusted it. It looks like two clicks over. It looks like it did move this time. So I'm going to see where I'm heading with the uh, roof. All right, that's a rogue ammo. Seven yards headshots. Let's see what happens. Loud and inch low right in his nose, though. It looks centered. Other side of his nose. Two in the nose. That ain't bad. Right eyeball. Looks like I use a combat hold better than a six o'clock hold. Okay, so it's not grouping back, but it's just a tiny bit low and just a tiny bit left. I mean, I'm only at seven yards, but that's a, that's a nice little tight group. Three of the five are touching. Uh, but I'm going for the tee box there, and that was the first shot. That was the second shot. So I'm about an inch low at seven. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to set this at, but I'm going to go right down on it anyway. I keep finicking with the sight little bit by little bit. I, I just Once I get a red dot, man, this is going to be super, super accurate. It's mechanically very, very accurate when I take my time. Uh, I'm going to go for the uh, bad guy in the middle with the best. I kind of got it in between a combat hold and a uh, six o'clock hold down. He's a very small head. And for offhand 15 yards with a brand new pistol, I'd say that's pretty good. And if I did the best five here, I think that's a pretty tight group with the 124 rogue. So that's what I'm doing my part, but I still have a tendency to pull it a little bit left. So I got to figure out uh, where I got to do it. I'll get to reset it with a red dot. All right, let's start running this thing a little bit. Now I got a little familiar with it, girl. Seven yards, got three bad guys behind you. I'll show you in a second. Let's see. The first tap, yeah, that second shot I drop low. Um, got, it's got a lot of mass when it hits back forward. It's a little snappier than my PBQ five inch, it seems like. So, that's the shot I knew. I knew I was dipping too low. Um, it's, it's got a lot of forward, a little more forward slide mass that slams forward. I'm not sure I like that. Uh, but I'll learn the cadence when I get a red down on and all that. That's good shooting. That's good shooting. A zone, A zone. This is a B. So uh, let's try and do that again. All right, so first go around five A's, one B. Let's try and get better than that. Let's 70 yards. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. Uh, not OEM magazine. And don't know what ammo it is. Two A zone in the heart. Three inner A zone or A plus I should start calling it. Guys on the targets I use from Targets Online, that's a USPSA A. I commonly call that a A and a B because I try to hold myself to a higher standard. E and uh, inner A and A or uh, B there, but really those are A's as well. Two shots in the heart. Let's just keep going with this so you, uh, if the mag will kind of get things figured out. And empty. Okay. And lock back. Um, so maybe yes, maybe no on this mag. Uh, I'll have to see. I got like 14 rounds of Federal in it.
three shots drop pretty low. This does have a different recoil impulse than the uh, five inch PPQ or lock up time than most pistols because they want extreme accuracy. And uh, both pistols can be extremely accurate. But this slide mass being wide, I kind of wonder if a four and a half uh, probably runs a little better and tracks a little better with the red dot than the five inch. I'm um, not sure. Let's see how my hits work. So one, two, three, four, very good here. Five, it's not good other than the fact that it's hitting his spine. On this guy, one, two, three, very good. Four, okay-ish. And uh, five, a really bad shot. And one, two, three, very good hits, considering I'm walking and on the move. And one, two, low. So as it's slamming home on some of the, those double taps, it's dropping the muzzle more than I'm used to with PPQ and some other. So it's going to take a little bit getting used to careers how and say no to palmer what you want to be as bad as block come on i love the small cordite in the morning uh yeah i'm seeing some bad hits there all right, so while scanning left to right, first I engage bad Chica on the left. I got three good upper thoracic hits on her. One a little too low down there uh, towards the liver. And at the end, nice good head shot. On this guy, two good upper thoracic hits, lung and heart. One on the spine. I'll still take that. That's pretty good. One down there in the hip that was not planned. And a perfect good head shot on this rather tall guy compared to the other targets. And on this guy, one, two, three, four good upper thoracic hits, two of them on the spine, one in the heart, one in the lung, and a good perfect T-box head shot. So, and that's with the really hot ammo. So I'm starting to get familiar with it and I can't wait to get a red dot on it. All right, here we go. Hey, what do you guys have any problems? Really, I just wanna have my beer and go home. All right, looks like I did some good work there, baby. Did some good work there. Uh, those two, I think, were from the hip. Point shooting. Two there. Two right there on the tee box. Three good head shots there. I got one, two, three upper thoracic there. One friggin' miss. One head shot a little too right. Uh, not happy about that miss. Two A zone upper thoracic here. Now make that three. Make that four line break technically. And two good head shots there. So anyway, guys, uh, really digging this thing so far. But it's taking a little bit getting used to it. We got sirens in the background, everything, guys. So here's my wrap up for the non red dot part one version of the Walther PDP 5 inch. I like it, I like it a lot because that greater goes great trigger. Um, again, the only little thing is about I think it's because the slide's all thicker here, the slide mass slamming forward even more than the PPQ 5 inch I'm used to. Or maybe it's just a timing, the cycling thing, and I'm using I use three different uh ammos today 124 mild 124 spicier and a 115 really spicy so um very very accurate uh wall there please stop putting shitty plastic sights on your otherwise perfect wonderful engineer the beautiful pistol right like no one wants shitty plastic sights i had a lot of trouble picking this up um on the P ppq i put a front night sight and rear glow sights from another ppq on it and all that so that's it needs something different why i never got one until now i'm going to get a free red dot so this will be a red dot gun for me and then i can compare whether i like red dot versus not if i was law enforcement or even for personal carry if you could get away not with a four inch i don't know i've got a feeling that maybe the four and a half tracks better especially with a red dot maybe the four or the four and a half doesn't slam home as much now i like longer barrel long polygonal barrels for great velocity with hot ammo you're doing almost 357 magnum type stuff that makes me have a lot more belief in 9mm than just a micro 9. And when I carry on duty a P30L, same thing. Four and a half inch polygonal barrel. This is a five inch polygonal, I believe it's still, polygonal barrel. So anyway, Walter, uh, good job. Guys, um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I would definitely, I'm sure there's all kinds of night sight options. That's just what you would have to do on an excess sights. Use Codan, the Wolfman, excess sights. 
and things like that. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, please always comment, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. And holder, holster makers, no one has gotten in touch with me yet. I need a holster for this, an outside waistband holster or a retention level holster for this bad boy. Please, thank you. And then I get a red dot on it, maybe a weapon model blade and all that goodness.